Good morning, guys. It's time to wind the old grandfather clock for the week. And while I'm at it, I might as well tell you the history of this clock, what I know about it. It was sold by Montgomery Ward in 1975. And I have the original manual around here somewhere. I'll have to find that and make a video of it later. But this clock was owned originally by a guy named Arthur Hingmull. Hope I'm saying that right. It's German, so correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it runs nicely. When I got it, it wasn't working. <laughs> the movement was gummed up like crazy, so I had to clean out around those pivot holes without taking it apart. I know that's the big no no for purist. But anyway, it's running. And yeah, it's a nice clock. I'll back up some more where you can see the whole thing. Coincidentally, Mark Munderlin, who is a subscriber to my channel, has this same exact clock. <laughs> he paid $10 for his. This one was 40 at Goodwill. Yes, Goodwill of all places. And believe it or not, a couple weeks later, they had to set Thomas grandmother clock much shorter than this one I didn't get it that's okay it was missing some parts anyway but yeah this one runs nicely and let's see if the instruction manuals in there I don't see it but anyway now I'm going to wind it starting with the strike side wait and this clock is currently running on about five and a half pounds. And the weights are not all the way full of the washers that go into them. So if you wanted to run it on more weights, you could. But there's, it all wound up again for the week. And I'll show you the dial too. And let me show you some of the age that this thing has which is not terribly old but it shows that's been around but still a nice shape for being as quote old as it is and here's the dial to it nice dial typical 70s style dial and these pieces are plastic but that's okay that doesn't bother me any it's beautiful nonetheless and yeah, thank you very much for watching. Oh yeah, let me tell you what kind of movement this uses. It uses a, I like to, well, there's different ways of saying it. I'm just going to say it, Jock 77. It's actually supposed to be pronounced Yauk 77. But some people hate that movement and some people love it. Apparently, from what I was reading, Emperor was the biggest user of this movement, and sometimes they would get a movement straight out from the factory and it wouldn't run. So they eventually switched over to a Hermley movement just because of that. And that's understandable if the movement isn't even going to work straight from the factory. Okay. But yeah, hope y'all have a great day, and thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.